What's up guys, this is Ashlux. It's time for the collaboration of Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. It's time for me to summon for Edward Elric. I'm gonna try to get multiple copies. We'll see how lucky I am. Will I get the artifact? It's a limited banner, of course, solid artifact. Edward Elric looks to be very strong. I'm gonna showcase him right after this video. Stay tuned in this video, guys. I'm summoning him and then I'm gonna be building him 15 skill ups and uh, I'll put gear on him. So I'll talk about different builds and it's gonna be right after this. This video is brought to you by Amazon App Store and Amazon Coins. If you're going to spend for Edward Elric, you should do so by using Amazon Coins. You can save up to 20% on in-game purchases from games who are on the Amazon App Store. The great news is that Epic 7 is now available on it and you can start using Amazon Coins to straight up get more out of what you're usually spending or end up with more spare cash instead. It's a win-win scenario. It's very easy to get the best savings on the Amazon App Store and Epic 7. Just go down below and use my link and follow the instructions. If you use my link below, it helps me but also allows you to still get the best possible discounts. You can get up to 20% off, which is really awesome. Get a full 20% discount if you buy 50K coins, if you buy 10,000 Amazon coins for $82, they will give you $100 in the game and so on with a bunch of discounts for different budgets. It's really easy to start saving. There's just three steps. One, get your Amazon coins. Two, get Epic 7 from the Amazon App Store on your favorite device, Android phone or tablet, or even better, get Amazon App Store now on Windows 11 and play Epic 7 directly from your PC easily with no complications. Currently available for the US and then globally. That's awesome. Once you've done that, just log into Epic 7 through the Amazon App Store. Just as easy as that. Why pay the full amount when you can get up to a nice 20% discount? There's really no reason not to use this method when it comes down to spending money in Epic 7. Check out my link in the description or comment section down below. Get Amazon App Store, get some Amazon coins, and start saving now. As you can see the schedule here for the Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood collaboration and uh, we're gonna have a Roy Mustang next week so I can't wait to uh, showcase him as well. Okay so let's get into this and uh, right here check an event very nice. Okay so how many covenant bookmarks do I even have right let's uh, let's find out here real quick and uh, we're just going to be uh, summoning for Edward Elric. Man, it is not that many, actually. So, will I luck out? Yeah, I don't know about the triple S, guys. I don't know about the triple S, but to be honest, I might use Skystones, even though I prefer to do Secret Child Prefreshes. Um, let's just get right into it, and uh, I don't know. I'll go for two copies if I have to pity, and the artifact, I might have to use the Powder of Knowledge Shop. Good luck to everyone. Here we go. Come on, baby. Come on. I'm just going to be skipping this real quick. And uh, we'll just get into the... Oh, I can't skip this, guys. Oh, my God. Yo, feels good. Feels good. Let's go. Okay. Edward Elric. Man. Okay, that was, that was quick. Nice, nice. Oh, baby. So, this, this is going to be... You know, an additional copy guarantee because I'm going to be dropping some Covenant bookmarks. Let's do it, man. And of course, you should be saving your Covenant bookmarks because there is going to be Roy Mustang, which uh, I'm going to be showcasing on a different account. So it's okay. It's okay. I'm just going to go sort of like all in on this one. Let's just see what happens, right? It's, it's going real well so far. Can't complain at all. So yeah, I I'm going to get... Uh, additional copy that, that that's for sure that is happening now what about the artifact it's really good like i really like this artifact come on baby because that thing builds up during the course of the game right and you're just getting some free stats and that's real good crit damage and speed you know like you need to uh, do an extra attack for that artifact to stack up but i mean just guarantee stats when you have a hero, when you put that thing on a hero that triggers extra attack, right? So, let's see, man. Let's see. At least I can get it from the Power of Knowledge Shop. Like, that, that, that's the good thing, right? That, that will be happening. Oh, that's going to be a pity, is it? It's going to be a pity. I got him so early. Guys, I might just go for three. 
I might go for three. Who knows? I might have more than one unknown, sl unknown slate saved up, so I might be able to just memory imprint him a few times. Right? That could be nice. Now, about the bottle of knowledge in the uh, powder shop, you can just use that, you know, to, uh, to enhance the limited artifact. That is definitely a very good usage of it. And, uh, uh, well, here, right here, you got the guarantee summon. Oh, man. Okay, let's go. Let's do it. It went well, though. Like, I got him on the second X10 pool. Very, very nice. Okay. Oh, man. Am I pushing this? I guess I am. So I, maybe I luck out, right? Maybe I luck out again. Who knows? Who knows? Oh, 327. Let's go. Let's just go, man, real quick here. Come on, baby. To be honest. I could pity him. Give me an artifact that'd be... That'd be great. Oh, I can skip this. Oh, baby, let's go. Oh, man. Yo, it's teasing me, you know? It's teasing me. It's it's consuming some Covenant bookmarks, and it's, uh, it's just pushing me to just go even further here. <sighs> we don't have an artifact, guys. Yeah, I could go in the pot of knowledge shop. Like, let's just go right now. Right, I ha I have enough. I have enough. Oh, come on. And you got the crit chance, right? Like, just passive crit chance increase on top of the crit damage. Right, and the speed. Just, that stuff just stacking up during the course of the game. Very nice, very nice. Oh, man, I'll just do it. I'll just do it. I mean, how often do we get an awesome collaboration like this? Come on, man. Oh, boy. Have I done? Oh, no. Come on, man. It's okay. Like I, I got lucky twice. You know, first pull for him and the third one. Uh, I prefer to do secret shop refresh. What am I doing? What am I doing? Go. Oh no. Oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take all of it. I'm, go I'm gonna take the full pity in that one. Artifact, where are you? Where are you, Artifact? Come on. I know, you're in the part of knowledge shop, I know, but... What if... What if I get two? You know, I don't limit break the one. I have two separate ones. So I can use it on two different heroes. Come on. Oh, no. It's gonna be the whole thing. It's gonna be the whole pity. Come on. It's just gonna happen, right? No. Give me the artifact. Oh, oh, oh. That's it. Come on. It, it, it's it's him or the artifact. It's him. Yes! Uh, wait. It, it's not guaranteed. It's not guaranteed, guys. It could be another artifact. What am I saying? Oh. Wait. Oh, my God. It's not, of course. So young. But I, I didn't have that one. It's not the one I want. Come on. Not the one I want. Still? Got something? Extra? Ooh, ooh, ooh. I can't. I can't skip it. I can't skip it, boys. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay, because I got plenty of powder, right? So I can just get it from the from the shop. And, you know, I, I'm, I don't have a bunch of unknown slates, so... It's all good. It's all good. Here we go. That's it. That, that, that's it, guys. That, that's good enough. That's good enough. Let, let's just get it from the shop here. And... Oh, let, let's call it a day on that. Right? Let's just call it a day. It's good enough, to be honest. Here we go. Easy peasy. Don't... There, just, just get it from the pot of knowledge shop, guys. Just get him, like, however many times you want. How many... You know, and then just get the artifact from the shop. It's just, it's just better. It's just better. Oh, and let, let's just get the bottle. Let's just get that sweet bottle right here. Here we go. Uh, so let, let me just go ahead and make some space. I'll grab him and, uh, you know, the artifact. We'll put that stuff together. I'll skill him up. 
and we'll move on to his build, guys. Here we go. Hey, yeah, boys, we got four Edward Elric. Let's go. Let's go. And uh, about the artifact, about the artifact. Um, yeah, I might just go right ahead and uh, I might go a bit nut on that one. Uh, yeah, I, I got a bunch of bottle of knowledge. I've been stacking those for a long time. And this might be it, boys. This might be it. I might go all in on this. I might go all in. I don't need to summon more because I've been saving. Been a good boy, been saving my currencies, and uh, now I can uh, make stuff happen. Here we go. So, look at that. S, imprint. Let's do it. Here we go. Let's uh, max level. And then. Oh boy. Go right ahead and the awaken. So. The unknown slate, what is the situation here? So, to filter that, as you can see, I've been saving, boys, I've been saving. Oh, man, okay, so, limited heroes, Moonlight 5-star heroes, Moonlight 5-star heroes is usually where you're going to be using unknown slate, but it's perfectly fine to use that on a limited hero, especially when you feel good about the, the hero, right? Feel good about uh, Edward Elric, so I'm just going to do that, and... Oh, man. Okay, so I I'm going to go for the crit chance. <clears throat> oh, baby. This is going to be interesting. This is going to be interesting. Right here, triple S. Oh, man. Okay, so let's do the awakening real quick. All good in the catalyst department here. So this hero, guys, like, thi this is... This is like a champion Zerato uh, pat. Like, there's a debuff. He's just gonna, you know, trigger the skill number two, the passive. And the cool thing is that if the enemy counterattacks and hits him when he has a debuff, applies a debuff on him, hits him, he can actually trigger the skill two. They've shown that in the hero preview, and I, I thought that was really cool. Uh, that was really cool right there. And this is a hero that scales based on his maximum health. So. You get some ability increase, you get more damage, and it's great. I, I love those type of heroes, especially on this third account of mine on the Europe server. This is the type of hero, like, real tanky, you can take a beating, survive, and just retaliate against the enemy. And, uh, yeah, I like to have a healthy team, and uh, you can even have slow heroes. A slow team, a turn two team, and you can just sort of, like, reset the battle, cleanse your heroes of debuff, heal yourself, and just make stuff happen and start dropping their heroes, right? So, right here, I'm going to be showing you guys his base stat. So, first of all, I'm going to turn this off, the self-imprint. As you can see, he is rock solid. Like, that is a nice amount of health and defense, right? Like, 117 speed. Wow. Wow, okay. And uh, now I'm just going to turn this back on. We're going to go right ahead and do the skill enhancement. Let's do 15 skill up on a boy here, Elric. Okay, let's go, baby. So, in terms of skill ups, early skill ups, big value on those because very cheap. One Mola, I mean, right? Like, very, very good. Now... When he triggers the skill number two, he actually attacks everyone. And, and that stuff will add up in a, in a long battle, especially. Like, that is free damage. Free damage. Usually, limited heroes are very good. Like, borderline OP, actually OP. We'll see how he performs in the next video, in the showcase. And, uh, yeah, I'll let you guys know what I think about him at the same time, of course. But on paper, he looks strong. He looks very strong. And like I said, very nice when the hero scales based on maximum health. I mean, two birds, one stone, right? Better survivability, more damage at the same time. It, it's definitely great. It's definitely great. And so as you can see here, plus 15. Now the barrier on the skill number one doesn't look to be the thickest, but you have to remember it's a barrier on a skill number one, right? It's not a skill two or three. So uh, th that's that's okay. That's okay. Uh, here. No random debuffs that she can apply. Uh, that could definitely 
be good for you, right? There, there's some strong debuffs in there. Now, in terms of skill ups, real quick, this the skill number three, right? Like you got a CR push at 50%. That is ridiculous. You ignore damage sharing effects, so you can really, really take that hero down. Um, and that's good. And he's that much closer to get his next turn. So if, if they didn't drop, maybe they won't have the opportunity to actually heal themselves back up, do something to survive to keep that hero alive longer and then you can just get back in there maybe you actually trigger the passive right and then you actually get your turn as well like that is a lot of burst damage that can happen in a really short period of time and uh, that is deadly that that is definitely deadly it might end up being at the right time good timing allowing you to pop that one hero or i mean maybe more than one depending on the situation so yeah, like I said, early skill ups is just too much value. Now, the thing to remember here is that plus three allows you to reduce one turn cooldown, right? Four turn cooldown with the soul burn, guys. This is ridiculous. This is a two turn cooldown. Like I said, 50% combat chance push. You're halfway there to the next turn. It's beautiful. You ignore damage sharing. Scale all the damage scaling off of his maximum health. Very cool. And the more times you use the skill three, there's a damage multiplier that kicks in and allows you to deal more and more damage as the battle drags on. So it's going to be great. Like you save your souls, 10 souls, soul burn this thing. Uh, you know, he could be your main damage dealer only. You support him, babysit him. Uh, you know, you got multiple layers of protection, a knight, Aureus, adamant shield. You got defense, but like stuff can uh happen and you can make him really take really hard to take down so yeah uh he, he's definitely going to be interesting to uh to play with right and look at these debuffs attack down decrease hit chance provoke silence restrict like landing uh, attack break that could definitely relieve a lot of pressure right on that one hero that just deals so much damage right that are scaling based on attack and decrease hit chance, you might be lucky, they might be missing, right? Uh, let's say Earth Hero versus him, right? And you got decreased hit chance, they're going to be missing all the time unless they have hit chance to counter that. Provoke could be quite deadly, especially if he's really tanky, if you build him tanky, and that's going to be the case, right? Uh, provoke, uh, I mean, that, like, like I said, silence. Silence is super dangerous. It's super, super dangerous. So yeah, uh, you're going to need quite a few stats on this hero, but at least he's HP scaling, so more damage, more you know, sort of ability at the same time. Uh, but yes, you want to have some defense. You want to have, you know, your, your your crit chance up. You want some crit damage, but you also want some effectiveness because you got those debuffs right there, right? Like those debuffs are going to be pretty good, but you don't need to go too hard on the effectiveness because you might be trying to cripple some heroes that are not support heroes, but heroes that are damage dealers, and they're usually not rocking like a ton of effect resistance, if any at all. So let me just slap some gear on Edward Elric, and uh, actually let me just like use his artifact right, uh, right here. And like I said, yeah, boys, I, looks like I'm gonna I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna oh oh oh, it's not a maxed out. It's not gonna be maxed out, boys. But, hmm, I don't know. Let's just do it. Let's just do it, man. Oh, uh, it's almost there. It's almost there, right? But th this thing is going to be strong. Man, it, if you support him and the battle drags on, his skill three, guys, is getting deadlier and deadlier. His artifact is stacking up. Yo, he, he's going to hit hard. Even if he's not even built for that much damage, that stuff will just be, he's not, he's just going to snowball as the battle drags on, right? Like if they have debuffs and he triggers his passive, which can even happen on a counter attack, which is actually really cool. Yeah, he, he's going to slap hard. He will. And he actually deals damage to the whole team with the passive. Yeah, I, I mean, maybe they can keep up with the frenzy in RTA with all that. Uh, that, that might just to, be too much pressure. Okay, I'll put gear on him. Let's go. All right, guys, here is the build for Edward Elric. I have him on speed penetration set, so he's going to be hitting that much harder with his single target attacks, scale 3, scale 1. So that's good. Maybe it allows me to, you know, uh, secure the kill with the S3. And, uh, man, very high amount of health, almost 20,000. The crit chance, by the way, with his artifact, you are getting some crit chance, right? So if I just take it off, you can see that it doesn't affect the crit chance in the uh, you know, on the character sheet. So it gets applied in the battle, and uh, that means you 
can have less crit chance on him. So if you have Imprint and you have his uh, limited artifact, you're just going to be able to gear him that much more easily. Now, as you can see, um, yeah, I mean, that is a lot of crit damage, a lot of health. So, I mean, with the penetration set, he's going to be hitting real hard. And the skill number three, guys, like, it stacks up. More damage over time. I'm going to try to soul burn this as much as possible, right? And then you got the artifact, right? You're getting some crit damage, and you're just going to cycle faster as well. And crit damage from an artifact... Usually, the way it works is that the crit damage actually can go over 350% crit damage. So that's definitely a good news if it works like that as well. And uh, man, we'll see. We'll see what kind of damage he can do. Stacking here in terms of like crit damage and speed. Stacking here in terms of more damage. Very cool. So what kind of build can you have for Edward Elric? My reasoning behind the uh, speed set is because his passive. It says that can only be activated once per turn so if he's too slow uh, then this thing will not be activating often which yeah that, that that's why that's why i went with these stats let me show you guys every piece of gear that i have on him some of these pieces are ridiculously good there's some insane amount of stats insane amount of value on some of these pieces and of course i want to have some effectiveness on him because i'd like to land some debuff right so that could definitely be good. And I mean, it might allow me to, I don't know about winning games, right? But maybe here and there. But those debuffs can definitely be very helpful. Now, you could definitely have less effectiveness than this. It's just because my gear set has that much. But to be honest, like if you're trying to land some debuffs on heroes that don't usually have effect resistance on them, then you're going to be fine with even lower amount of effectiveness, right? just what i'm rolling with and uh yeah good value here on the crit chance imprint of course and i mean the value as the battle drags on is going to be pretty insane for his uh limited artifact full metals auto mail so definitely looking forward to testing him out now what other set of gear can you have on him you could opt for Im immunity instead of penetration set that's definitely viable it's just that immunity loses value as the battle drags on so you got to figure out what's going to be better for you. If you do have penetration and you can deal with, you know, uh, too many debuffs uh, being landed on him, then you can, you know, be, um, you might want immunity. But to be honest, like you don't want it because when his, uh, his passive, actually, after being attacked, when the caster has a debuff, dispels one debuff and activates rise. Now it, you know dispels one debuff it's not all debuff so that's why you have to figure out like do i want immunity or i don't want it how long my battles will be how long they're gonna last right uh but over the course of the battle penetration is gonna be just more value as this stacks up as the skill three stacks up right now the speed set like i said the passive i just want it to happen as often as possible of course you could build him with even more speed considering the fact that he has 117 base speed the real juicy scales nicely with the speed set another reason why i like the speed right and uh that's just going to be more damage and also the burst of skill three getting 50 percent combat has push into him using the skill uh, one and also maybe the skill two triggers like that's a lot of burst damage in a pretty short window and that might allow you to secure a kill or like finish someone if skill three didn't uh, do that for you so that could definitely be quite dangerous uh you know he's gonna be getting more turns that's good getting more extra attack faster stacking the skill three faster stacking the skill number three uh, skill three and artifact are gonna stack faster you soul burn save the 10 souls for the s3 i think that's just gonna work real well uh, all together and to be honest like with that amount of health and okay defense i'll try to get a defense buff on him or something uh, Orius in the team like that will allow you to just survive so much better and you won't need to like have him babysat by soul weaver uh you know constantly like he might be able to just take quite a few hits and you don't have to stress about keeping him alive during the battle so that's definitely good uh when you have heroes that are health scaling in terms of damage right so that, that's good now, I really like the stats where they're at. Like I said, less effectiveness could be definitely fine. You don't need to worry about attack. Yes, there's usually multipliers. They say like it scales based on his maximum health, but there's also the multiplier basing, uh, based on the attack of the hero. But we don't know exactly. Like someone would have to tell us the multiplier in the comment section. I don't know them 
uh, what they are exactly. But usually, you know, you get just so much more value from health. And usually the multiplier for health is what's going to scale your defense much more than attack. So don't worry about it, right? Uh, but maybe an attack buff during the battle might help you just a bit more, something like that. Uh, so yeah, I'd like to hear what you guys think about Edward Elric in the comment section. Let us know if you tried him, what type of build you're running on him, how does he perform, what artifact you're running him on. Now, of course, you can be running him on a counter set, but I feel like he's going to be too slow, right? I really like the base speed with the speed set. And like I said, the S2, you just want to get as many uh, turns as possible, get that turn again so you can use skill 2. It can trigger more often in, in the battle going to be more impactful than just standing there crossing your finger for a counter to trigger right and there's heroes that don't trigger counters so th there's stuff to worry about right and also like you won't be able to bring him against every team but usually teams have a debuff and uh, you can make use of his passive it's going to be really deadly if they have debuff i mean uh, yeah he, he's going to be quite impactful throughout the battle so yeah i, I want him to be pretty aggressive get quite a few uh, turns but yeah counter could work right you could have him on life steal you could have him on injury like all that stuff can definitely work out i prefer on penetration set in a longer battle i'll try to support him you know as best as i can but yeah like like i said let us know what you guys think about edward elric in the comment section what do you think about this build that's if it is one of my good luck with all yeah do peace out for now